have any bad experience about betting? I had a lot of bad experience because uh, there was a day I wanted to go to Computer Village to get a phone for I and my wife. So I was uh, with uh, 170 something thousand naira. Let's see, 178 thousand naira. That was what I have in my account. Okay. So, and then I just came back from the video show. Because when he did uh, his Wonder Woman, okay. I was one of the stage designer for him. So we just came back that day. So I was like, let me go to Computer Village to get a phone for myself and my wife. Okay. So when I left home, I don't know the kind of spirit that just entered me. I should go to Beth's shop and try my luck with Fetua. Mm -hmm. I should play Fetua, baby. A bit. If I can get more money mm. to add up with the money I had on me, so on yeah. getting to baby shop. Mm. If I know it, they collected hundred thousand naira. So oh. I couldn't. As I was playing the baby now. So it's not it's not win any any time. Not that I didn't win. Okay. See you get. But I lose more than the winner. I lose. 100,000 Naira. My name is Nawali Pass from Amida TV Boss. What's your name now? Uh, my name is MC MacaJ. MacaJ International. Okay, Mac, MacJ International. Okay, that, that MC na Mac, Abi. Yes. Okay, I think it'll be MC with the Go Show, with the. Uh, actually, I they do that one too, but not uh, all time. Once in a while, Sha. Uh, they will come outside and they do it. Uh, okay. My main job, the main work what they do now, painting and printing. Painting and printing. Yes. Okay. Very good for you. When started they do that uh, uh, painting? Uh, been a while. Let's say for the past 15 years now, I've been in the job. 15 years. Till now you are still doing it. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. That means I've been doing it for a very long time, like when you were still young. Yes, now. I'm still young. Do I look low? Like no, that's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> Like, like 15 years plus your age now is it's a long way coming. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Yes, right. yes. Okay. What prompts you to be doing all this uh, painting work? Um, what really makes me to be doing this job is that uh, let me say I have phobia for it. Yeah. Number one, when you have passion for something, okay. hmm? because when I was in school, I was to be a commercial student. Secondary school, right? In secondary school. You have an opportunity to go to university or Polytechnic? Yes, yes. I went to Polytechnic. I went to Lagos State Polytechnic. Like, that's Polytechnic. So, when I finished, I was supposed to be using my certificate to work. NT or? NT, NT. So, actually, I got a work at Lekki as a then. But the money they wanted to offer me, when I calculate my TV through and through per month, it's almost the salary that they wanted to pay me. So I just decided to face my job. How many were you going to uh, Business administration. Yes, that's faculty of administration. So when you first, first got your first job, what is uh, the amount of the salary they want to be paying you? 70,000 naira per month. At Lekki? Yes, at Lekki. So you now calculate the... TV, transportation. Per month. Okay. Okay. Where, where were you staying then? I was here in Nashishi. Okay. Okay. You now calculated the transport that if you want to be going from Ashishi to Lekki, uh, it will be yeah. equivalent to 70,000 at the end of the month. So Not really 70,000 at the end of the month. But well, what would be left behind? Yeah, it will be very small. Okay. So that's why you decided to like don't do the work, right? Yes. Face my hand work because I also learned the hard work. I really faced a lot when I was learning the work also. Okay, well, can you just tell us a little uh, experience you had when you were learning the work? Uh, like a challenge, a challenge you, know, you, know, you know, in those days, in those days, when we were learning painting and printing job, uh, what really gave me tough time is the artwork. There's something we call stencil. ABC, to write all those things in a different pattern. Okay. Eh? They have their patterns of Yeah, writing. different ways, different patterns. Let me put it that way because we have our own, uh, there's a slogan that we use. Okay. 
when it comes to artistical works. So then, if our boss give us, a, let's say, one type of lettering to write out, and we're unable to do it the way we're supposed to do it, before you know it, our boss, we, we use wire to design your hand. Uh, we use wire to design your hand. You were like, uh, how old are you when you were learning this? Uh, I was still small because uh, I was in GS1 when I st started learning the work. So let me see, when I was in GS1, there should be around 18, 19 years. 18, 19 years, GS1, GS2. So you are 18 years when you were in GS1? Uh, you know, I was born and brought up in the village. Okay. So before I started my primary school, it was too late because I could remember when my parents took me to our primary school. Then, as far as uh, let's say, in 1990, 1989, 1990, they have to send me back home. That my hand is not up to my head. <laughs> so this is how they asked me to, you know, to. Uh, they said I should go back home. That uh, I can't withstand the cold okay. of the school premises okay. at that period, so I had to go back home. Again. Go back home. So why do you now come back to start your premises? This is 1992. After, after 1992. After two years. Old, after after two years. or three years later, and I was born in 1984. So calculate that that years. So, <laughs> so you were you were. Can you can you describe the old uh old how did they school now to uh, this new era school? What, what are the similarities uh, and what are the differences? Um, there are a lot of differences. Okay. A lot of, let, me, let me start with the differences. Okay. In those days, before you could start the, what's it called? The fourth stage okay. of schooling. Okay. Uh, there are so many processes that you go through. So if you don't pass those processes, you cannot, they cannot allow you to stay in the school. Uh -huh. So one of those processes is what I mentioned the other time, that they will ask you to put your hand on your ear like this. Once your hand is unable to touch, they will ask you to go back home. That you are not capable to be in the school yet. At the same time, in those days, if you are not up to five, seven years, you cannot start with primary school. Because then there is nothing like a, a crutch. Okay. There's nothing you like crutch. You start from primary one. So, do you, so do, you, do you think those things they were doing in the early days was right? Like telling uh, uh, people to touch their hand with their, to touch their hair with their hand before they can start primary school. You know some people might have been uh, more than eight years and their hand might not have not reached their hair. So do you think that is right? What, what, what they were doing in those days was right. Okay. The reason why they were doing all those things is to protect the life of the little ones at that time. Because that time, that time, the civilization that we have today, hmm, there's nothing like that in those days. They don't have that kind of uh, civilization in those days. Today now, eh, once you give birth to a child, before, let's say, before six, seven months, that child had been trying to say ta ta ta, tone ta, all those things. In those days, it was not like that. Even the child might have even not even hooked on his or high. So, why do you think it's like that these days? Why, why people of uh, nowadays are different from the other? Uh, older uh, because things have been changing all around. You know, a child was being born today, and it was after six months, you see him trying to crawl, and it was not like that in the really? early days. Yeah. So why, 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 why is it like yeah, that? All I can say about that is that uh, all is civilization. Like things change every day. Things change every day. At the same time, our scientists they are also trying, in the sense that. Uh, when the child is still inside the mom womb, there are some drugs that they normally take in these days, which was not evoked in those days. So the drugs now make makes also helps the offspring to be agile and 
All right. So what do you now think that uh, civilization has caused? Is is it is it is it good thing for civilization to come, or has it destroyed anything in this our our time? You know, in the olden days, we have some things we do, like we, we our our daddies or our mommy know how to like uh, say we should not do this thing. They have their own way of telling us. But nowadays, we can see everybody are doing whatever they like. So, is civilization uh, a good thing in our co uh, community today, or has it bring uh, a bad example? Mm, civilization has really helped the society. I think I get it. In the sense that uh, Yoruba do say something that come uh, the phone is me. Yorubani, and it's also in the Bible. And you should train your child in a way that he or she will give you rest of mind when you grow up. So you get any child you train in a way that you're supposed to train him or her will never go astray from that teaching. So civilization has really helped the society in some ways. And at the same time, it has affected the society in some way. Yes. I think I'm getting it. So, the only thing I would want or advise our parents is that whatever they want their children to learn, to do, is what they should teach them when they are still young. So that when they grow, they will abide with it. Like I... I want to ask you this question. Did you have any experience about betting? Bet? Yes. Like you play bet. Gambling? Yes. I play bet though. I, I love football and I play bet a lot. How often do you play bet? Ah. Uh, let's say I play bet almost every time. Every Even day. today now I've played some on my what's it called? On my on my phone. So, so uh, what is the biggest amount you've won since you've been playing bet? Ah. Uh, the biggest amount I've won ever since I've been playing bet was, uh, let's say, 75,000. Yeah. 75,000? Yes. So, how, what was the biggest amount you've lost? Can you calculate them? I can't calculate. The biggest amount I won was 75,000, and it's not only one. I, I do win some other amounts like that. 60, 50, 30, 20. Do you have any bad experience about betting? I had a lot of bad experience because uh, there was a day I wanted to go to Computer Village to get a phone for I and my wife. So I was uh, with the uh, 170 something thousand naira. Let's see, 170 thousand naira. That was what I have in my account. And then I just came back from the video show. Because when he did uh, his Wonder Woman, I was one of the stage designers for him. So we just came back that day. So I was like, let me go to Computer Village to get a phone for myself and my wife. So when I left home, I don't know the kind of spirit that just entered me. I should go to bed shop and try my luck with Fetua. I should play Fetua, maybe. A bit. If I can get more money to add up with the money I had on me. So I'm getting to baby shop. If I know it, they collected 100,000 naira. So I couldn't... As I was playing the baby now... So you know you don't win anything? Eh? Not that I didn't win. She you get. But I lose... I lost 100,000 naira. So you now, you now went back home with the I went back home with the remaining bags. I went to, I, when I got home, I sent my daughter to get me cold water and uh, sugar with a pa. So I have to drink her and sleep. Because the money was so, as in, it was so painful that I, I lost that kind of uh, rich amount. Without getting what I wanted to get. Since then, have you like more the plan of living bed? 
Yeah, I've, in fact, ever since that time, I didn't touch the fatua for some years. Let's say like four or five years, I didn't touch the fatua. You have been playing the fatua again now? That was last year. I played twice yeah, last year. I played twice last year and I won like uh, 40 something thousand euros. So I didn't go there again since that time. Because what I, what I learned from Fatra is that if you win today, don't go there tomorrow. If you go, the money you want today, you will collect it and even more that you have in your private. What advice do you have for people that are gambling, like people that are playing all these uh, My advice visuals. for people that are playing gambling is that uh, the money you know is for something important, either for your home, for something spectacular to you, for your school fees, for your children's school fees, for your food, for shelters, don't use it to play gamble. Any money you know, when you use it to play gamble, can cost damage to your life. Don't use it to play gamble. That's my advice. And uh, I can see some little children now, they are not up to 18 years, to come for gambling, which is not supposed to do. So I will advise the gamble shops, attenders or agents also, not to allow those children to involve themselves in gambling. Because with the grown-up uh, people, the thing has really caused us a lot of damages, which we are just trying to, you know, control. So, are, you, are, you like, are, you, are you like trying to like stop betting? Can you stop betting? Uh, 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 not, let me see. For now, let me say I can't stop betting because me, I don't like lying. I can't stop betting. Why can't you stop? The reason why I cannot stop betting is that uh, eh? at times, bet has really helped me. I think I get to me. Uh, there was a time like that when I was 93 because I did PT when I was in school. I wanted to pay my school field and uh, project money then. So the money I was, you know, let me say, expecting from a, a customer couldn't come in. So I just got a 500 naira from a friend as transport from here to Udoguyo, uh, uh, what's it called? Last week. Then I was like, it's not necessary if I go to if I go for lecture today. Let me just stay at home. Then I used that 500 naira to gamble, and I won 64,000 naira. So with that 64,000 naira, I was able to pay little out of my project money because my supervisor then charge everybody 150,000 naira. Either you do it yourself. You write your project or you don't not consign me. You pay 150000 But at the end of the day, due to the cannibal people I work with when I was in school, I think I get him. So I didn't pay the whole 150000 but at least I still pay 90 out of the money. So, so that is the way uh, bet as FPU. Okay, no problem. What do you call your name? Maj, Maj, hey everywhere before you. Nice meeting you, boss. You too much. Maj, I bet, bet guru. <laughs> <laughs>